Hi, I'm Josh with Morgan Industrial Technology, and today we're going to talk about the new AMI Arc Machines 217 WDR power supply. The 217 is a programmable power supply capable of working with all of AMI fusion heads. If you're familiar with AMI's orbital welding equipment, you'll notice that the 217 looks similar to the model 207 and 227. The power supply has the same weld head connections as the old 207. The shape is the same as well. AMI has added a powder coated finish as well as auto programming technology. And instead of the old keyboard style, you'll notice that they have a large touchscreen monitor. On AMI's home screen, you'll notice a few options, create schedule, open last, library, and setup. Today we're gonna to go into the create schedule and you'll notice that it gives you the option of auto schedule or manual schedule. If you're familiar with the old 207, you remember you had to manually input all of the information to create a program. If that's how you want to do it, you still have that ability. You just have to go in and manually input all of the information to create the program, just like the late 207. If you would like to use the auto program capability, select auto schedule. You will need to enter the diameter, the wall, the material, and the weld head that you are using. Today we're going to be doing inch and a half tube. O65 wall, stainless steel, 316L. When you select the weld head option, you'll notice several weld heads that you can select from. Today we're going to be using the 82000 weld head. You have four options as far as the weld is concerned. Auto pulsed, which is a continuous weld program. Auto step which acts like the second hand on a clock, auto tack, which allows you to tack the workpiece before the weld, and then AMI's auto pulsed S3 program. You will notice on AMI's S3 program a continuous drop in amperage as opposed to a stair step that you would see on a typical four level program. Going back to the auto program home screen, this is the weld that we are going to do today. Auto pulsed. And we are going to save our weld. Unlike the S3 program, you will notice that the continuous pulse program drops an amperage on each level, giving you a stair step effect. Now we'll go over some of the options on the weld screen. On the right hand side, you will notice all of the controls for the weld and the weld head. We have start, sequence stop, all stop, test mode or weld mode when you're ready to weld, home position for the weld head, purge for the weld head, jog forward, jog reverse, print schedule or calibrate the weld head. On the left side of the screen, you will notice home, schedule screen, save and WDR. WDR stands for Weld Data Recording. AMI's Weld Data Recording technology gives you the highest acquisition rate to record your weld on an external drive. To do this, we will enter our weld ID and enable WDR. Once we perform the weld, we can export that information onto a USB. Now that WDR is enabled, we will go back to the weld screen. Now that you've created your program, you can connect the weld head that you're going to be using. Just make sure that you include the collets of the size of the tube that you're going to be welding as well as the tungsten. To make any necessary adjustments to your program before the weld, we'll simply select Schedule Screen. From here, you can see all of the information about your weld and make any necessary adjustments needed before the weld. Then we can go back to the weld screen after we save any changes we've made. Assuming your weld head connections are connected properly and your program is correct, you should be able to start your weld. If not, the 217 will throw an error code, giving you a brief description of the fault. Once we have fixed the fault, we can start our weld. You will notice in the upper right hand corner of the weld screen, the pre-purge countdown. Once the pre-purge is complete, the power supply will initiate the arc inside of the weld head. 
Once the weld is complete, we will start our downslope, followed by our post purge. Once you've completed the weld, if it is noticed that you need more or less amps, AMI 217 makes it easy with their scaling option located in the lower right hand corner of the weld screen. Available accessory options for the 217 power supply include the water cooler, the remote pendant, as well as extension cables for the weld head and the remote pendant that allow the user to operate the unit away from the machine. Another option is our switch box, which allows operators to utilize multiple weld heads interchangeably. If you have any more questions, please contact us and we can talk about if the 217 power supply is a good fit for your orbital welding needs. Thanks for watching.